Hey guys, it's Hexer18. How's it going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you a distro review of Kane. Uh, That's how I think it's pronounced. Um, I'll go to the website, and this is the website I went to. to I found out that they have a new version out. 2.0 New Light is out. And this was released just of 914, which was yesterday. And it's a investigation environment. Like it's uh, from, it's a distribute created from, or as a project of digital, for instance. And um, the the manager I've been uh, emailing lately, I've been asking for the 64-bit. So I could put it on my uh, laptop. I want to install it because um, I, re I really enjoy it. So um, did you get you guys an idea? Um, I'm going to show you in Virtual Machine what it's like to mess around with it and such. I will be posting the link of this website in my description so you can have a look at their website yourself. So let's go ahead and move over here. I've already booted it up virtual machine for you so you can save your time. Um, there's, it looks like it's, um, the layout is really pretty nice. Um, the, it, it's based off of Ubuntu, I'm guessing, because when I booted it off the disk or the image, it says that, uh, it says Ubuntu when it's booting up. Um, but here, here's the menu. You go in the menu and accessories, you got your, the basic accessories, calculator, character map, uh, disk usage analyzer, GBase, uh, G editor, um, or G edit. Yeah, sorry about that. Manage uh, print jobs, passwords, and encryption keys. You can search for files, take screenshot, terminal, uh, your tools. This is what the the dis the uh, the distro is made. Uh, of so this is basically the main and this is the important stuff so here's the tools that it comes with it has its own interface um, we can take a look at that um, I'm not sure what the password is I'm just gonna guess here okay did that work I think I'm already at the interface I, I might be but um here they got mount manager, they got storage device manager, they got disk utility, they got air, which is an image and restore. Uh, they they got guy guy ma major. They got uh, auto uh, feisty. I I don't know how to pronounce these some of these stuff. Sorry about that. I'm terrible at like English and junk. Um, bash script tools they got gtk hash a uh, hash calculator uh, very nice um they got cd uh dvd media uh air protection they got um <clears throat> a hex editor they got opcrack very nice i like opcrack a lot um they got uh a powerful car a powerful carver they got a hard disk uh, recovery tool uh F or an HFS browser and a graphical front end of the Strag uh, Detect. So, um, in your graphics, you got uh, GIMP um, and just the basics down here: a scanner and image viewer. Uh, your internet, you got uh, WICD uh, for your network manager. Uh, wireless. Or I mean not wireless. Sorry about that. Firefox web browser, Office. That's what I was trying to say. Office, not wireless. Office. Uh, oh, Obi Word. They got dictionaries. You just the basic stuff in here. Um, that they've added in here. Just the regular stuff. Ah, uh, they got the GTK record my desktop. Very nice. I did not know I actually had that in there. Uh, so you could record that um, VLC. I like that too. Um, they give you a root terminal and uh, just a lot of very nice stuff. And you got your Ubuntu Software Center just if you want to install anything else on there, because they do give you the option to install it. 
the install it right on your hard drive. Um, they give you bash script tools. I want to take a look at this. Okay. Oh wow, they got some they got some nice tools in there, don't they? Okay. Yep. They they got scripts are already for you in there if you choose to use scripts uh through the terminal. Uh they got their own interface which I couldn't get this thing to work but I might already have it running. But um anyways this is just a quick uh distro review i think it's really nice um it has its really good things i know it's uh, a live cd and a lot of people told me not to expect a 64-bit edition out of this uh i still think they could make a 64-bit um shouldn't really hurt them I think the only thing that would hurt would be the programs and the packages because some of them aren't in 64-bit, which is what I do understand. Uh, overall, I do like it a lot, so um, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Check out their website, and I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching.